Welcome here Light Broadcast from the Major TV Studio. We are happy to announce the nomination for the Glen Gold Prizes underway. Reporting from Toronto, Mr. Brian Levine from Executive Director of the Glen Gold Foundation from Toronto. Hello, Brian. Hi, Alina. How are you doing? I'm very good and you welcome here live streaming, Brian. I see how are the nomination for the Glen Gold Prizes going? It's great. We're getting a lot of feedback and from different parts of the world. And uh, I can't tell you who's been nominated because that's always a secret. But, you know, we're really excited by um, some of the ideas that people are, are sending our way. But we always want more, which is why I'm here today, is to uh, encourage D Majors um, fans and followers to get onto uh, the form on our website and nominate your favorite artist to be the next laureate of the Glenn Gould Prize. Absolutely. Everyone can make a nomination through the online form. How does it work and which artist can be named? Okay, so first you go to www.glengould.ca and right on the home page you'll see a, uh, a button that you can click on and that will take you to the nomination form. It takes about five minutes to make a nomination. And um, who's eligible? Well, the person has to be a living artist. Um, they can come from any country and they can come from any artistic field. That's a very important feature is that it can be a musician. It could be someone in theater. It can be a film director. It could be an actor. It could be a writer. It could be a designer, visual artist, architect. It could be someone in broadcasting, uh, radio. It could be almost any creative field, but it's very important to remember that it is for someone who's really one of the great artists of our time, someone whose influence has changed the world or at least changed their own field of artistic activity. And it has to be someone who really can stand in the company of our previous laureates, people like Philip Glass, Jesse Norman, uh, Yehudi Menuhin, Oscar Peterson, uh, Dr. Jose Antonio Abreu, and so, so on. Yeah, uh, Ma, I, I see. You know. The uh, last Glenn Gould Prize uh, was given, of course, to Jesse Norman, as you say, the international opera singer, who unfortunately, is, she just passed away. Can you tell us yes. something about this extraordinary moment with this unforgettable opera singer? Well, what was really special about about honoring Jessie is that, first of all, she was one of the really unique artists of our time. Her music making uh, really stands alone um, in the way she could sing in so many different operatic ranges, how she uh, tried jazz and uh, Broadway musicals and the spiritual repertoire. She was an incredible total artist. but. The other part is that she was a great activist. She was someone who devoted herself to so many causes, uh, working to help free Nelson Mandela and for civil rights in America and for uh, finding a cure to AIDS and breast cancer. And of course, she helped to start a wonderful school for the arts in her hometown of Augusta, Georgia for economically disadvantaged children. So that's another feature about the prize is to find someone who's contributions have really excelled in the arts and made a great influence on our lives and our culture, but also uh, people who really understand the responsibility of the artists to reach beyond just their performance and have an impact in the world. And certainly I would say that all or at least most of our laureates have been in that category as well. Yeah, and uh, do you have an anecdote about Jesse Norman? As you remember, you, you, you give to her the prize, so yes. your memory about her, just your, your memory about this moment, about her. Well, I would, I would say, first of all, um, Jesse, this prize is very meaningful for her because she had a very strong relationship with Toronto and she was a huge admirer of Glenn Gould. Um, and uh, sadly, the appearances that she made in Toronto during the time she was here, her last public appearance. So uh, it really meant a great deal. But I would say the way she inspired others, 
all the people who were there when she spoke at the, the different events, they really were electrified. They saw the power of the ideals and the inspiration and the dedication that she brought throughout her career. And the, at the end of uh, the public talks, they just flocked around her. She was so gracious in the way she would speak to each and every one of them, and especially to the children from the Jesse Norman School of the Arts that we brought to Toronto. When um, they met her, they just absolutely, well, they, they were meeting absolutely. their hero. And we are she had yeah. time. It was great. She wanted to find out about their their um, schooling and what they were achieving at school. And she took so much personal interest in each of them. She was proud of, of each and every one of them. So yeah. that was that was fantastic. Yeah. So Brian, we remember the website www.glengold.ca. Thank you for being with us, for remember this important event. So guys, don't forget to nominate your Glengold Prize from the Glengold Foundation website www.glengold.ca. The nominations are open until November 30. So Brian, thank uh -huh. you very much. Thank you for being with thank us. You, Nina. Just one last word, which is, if you can't choose, if there are two people who you really want, you can nominate both of them. Absolutely, with pleasure. See you soon, okay. Brian, and vote you so your, your Glengold Prize. Bye. Ciao a tutti.